Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Corey, better known as the C-Man, and I want to welcome you to another edition of the C-Man's Cinema. Sit down. Oh, man, I am cutting this super close, man. It's about 8.20 right now as we are filming this. By the time I post, it'll probably be about 8.40, which will put us about 20 minutes from the premiere of the final season of one of my favorite television shows of all time. Oh, man, I am so stoked that winter is finally here. So why don't you pull up a chair, man, take a seat. We're getting ready. Uh... To discuss real quick what's coming up and maybe some of the Seaman's predictions uh, for Game of Thrones Season 8. That's right, folks. The finale season has arrived. Um, when we last left our heroes, if you were a Game of Thrones fan, um, you know, John and Daenerys just hooked up. Um, and they're heading north, as is Jamie and a whole bunch of people getting ready to fight uh, the Army of the Dead. Uh, you know, after the Night King and his ice dragon demolished part of the wall, man. People are in... We don't know where some people are. We know that there is bad stuff coming for other people. Cersei's scheming. Everything is just as it should be for Game of Thrones. I am so excited. Um, I, myself, just finished uh, my rewatch today. It took me about a month. I ripped through 67 episodes. Um, and then... I had to wait to do this now uh, because I've been trying to get my mom caught up. She got into it last year, of all things, season seven. Um, and now I've been getting her to rewatch and get caught up. She came up a little short. She was about two episodes into season six. So I was like, come here. I'm going to just rip through the episodes we need to get through. Uh, her and my dad and my sister are currently watching the final episode of season seven. I'm going to go join them right before the series premiere hits tonight uh for season eight but before we get there man one quick announcement and then we got some predictions to lay out um we are going to do this american horror style style man i'm gonna film myself watching every episode i'll put my reactions up and mesh them with the review we will review every single episode and when we get down to the finale we're gonna have a live watch party on youtube uh you guys can watch along interact with me as we watch the series finale Oh, man, there's so many big things coming. We're going to find out all the answers to all the things that we've wondered about what will actually happen. Who will end up on the Iron Throne? But before we get there, the old Seaman has five quick predictions for you. Um, some of these won't seem too crazy. One of them will seem a little nuts, and one of them is just super dark and might also seem a little crazy, but not none of them too far-fetched. Uh, so these are the five predictions for Season 8 for the Seaman. This is what I see coming. First and foremost, uh, like I said, the Ice Dragon took down the wall at the end of Season 7, and Tormund, one of my favorites, the Wildling, you know, red fiery hair and beard. Uh, Tormund's one of my favorite, man. He's just badass. He's on top of the wall when the wall goes down. So I don't think any of the Wildlings or Night Watchmen are on top of the wall at Eastwatch survive and <laughs> what's the knight king gonna do with dead bodies he gonna revive them so Tormund is going to come back in season eight we're gonna get Tormund, but he's gonna be a white and when we finally get our battle on him and john snow will go mano e mano uh, and it'll be tough for john but i'm telling you that's my first big old prediction um my second prediction oh this is one of my favorites Arya stark will kill cersei lannister she gonna take her off her list but with Jamie Lannister's face. Say what? Are you gonna kill Jamie? No, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, as you'll see when we get to my final predictions, I don't think things are gonna go so well. You know, I mean, the, the, the army of the dead is gonna get to Winterfell fairly quickly, probably around the same time as Jon and everybody else is gonna get there. We're gonna have a battle early. That battle's not gonna go well, man. And during that battle, you know, there was a premonition. There, there's like a premonition mention that Jamie will end up dying in his beloved's hands. I think he's going to die in Brienne's arms. I, I think the two of them have a love for each other that will never get acted upon. But in battle, Brienne will, Jamie will save Brienne and take the sword. Brienne will be fighting a white. Arya will come in there and with her little Valyrian steel sword save Brienne. And then she will take Jamie's face for later. And I think what's going to happen, Winterfell is not going to go so well and everyone's going to have to retreat. We're all going to end up at King's Landing at some point. Arya Stark will don Jamie Lannister's face to finally kill Cersei. That's prediction number two. Prediction number three, I think, is one we all know is going to go down. The Clegane Bowl, man. We're going to get the mountain. We're going to get the hound. And they are going to get it on. We've been building seven seasons to see that fight. And it's finally going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen the way people want. Because when does Thrones ever act the way we want? I think the mountain is going to win. But before he can get the final blow in, Arya Stark is going to jump in to save the Hound. Give him enough of an opening to land a kill blow. Both the Mountain and the Hound will die. 
Uh, but the Hound will die and kind of get to have a farewell with Arya before Arya goes and kills Cersei. Or maybe it's after. But I think at some point that will go down. And I think both in the Clegane Bowl, both Cleganes will drop. Um, now, I do have one absolutely crazy prediction. And if you've noticed, I don't think things are going to go so well. My final prediction, if my final prediction doesn't come true, I think this crazy prediction could be the alternate way things go. Um, I think Daenerys is pregnant. Um, you know, she kind of had that conversation with John at the end of season seven where she's like, I can't have kids anymore. He's like, you ever think that witch was lying to you? I think that Daenerys is pregnant. And I think in some way, shape, or form, John not being technically alive. He's already died and been brought back to life, I guess. But somewhere he's kind of undead. Maybe, just maybe, if the humans win, the baby inside of Daenerys maybe is the antidote to the undead. Maybe the baby will have some way to be how humanity could beat the White Walkers. However, as crazy as that theory is, that's not how I think this thing is going to end, man. My final prediction, who I think is going to be on the Iron Throne? The Night King, man. I mean, my man took out a dragon with one throw of a spear. Um, when flames are around and he walks near them, the flames extinguish. My man's not afraid of fire. Um, it, I think it's going to be a crazy end. But I think the Night King is going to lead to the premonition we've seen multiple times through the series. Both Daenerys and Bran have seen the, uh, the throne room covered in snow, which means the roof's been ripped off and it is snowing because winter has indeed made it to King's Landing. I think those dragons we see flying over King's Landing, they might be ice dragons. Um, like I said, um, all sorts of things will have to happen. We're going to lose a lot of people if the Night King is going to win. I think John is going to save Daenerys at Winterfell, but ultimately die. Ever since he came back, kind of feels like he has a death wish, and I think he'll, he'll fulfill that, but save Daenerys. Um, I think the Ice Dragon is going to win, um, and that's going to you know at least beat one of the dragons, and that'll help the Night King eventually defeat Daenerys in the throne room. While the snow's coming down, I think that's where Daenerys goes down, and the Night King then will have just a clear path to the throne. Um, but... While all that's going on, um, you know, I think there will be one lone survivor. Bran seems to be the only person or anything that I, I've really gotten the feeling that the Night King might be scared of. I think Bran is going to, in a last-ditch effort, warg himself either directly into the Night King or in one of those, like, past, you know, how he can mess with the past and stuff. Maybe he goes into one of his visions and tries to warg into him. But in some way, shape, or form, I think that the only two people standing at the end of this are Bran and the Night King. I think that Bran will be stuck after warging into the Night King. I know, that's super dark, man, but Game of Thrones, when has this ever not gone that way, man? So many characters, so many main characters over the years have died. Twists, turns, surprises. I think that's the best way to go, man. It fits so well with the tone of, of, of everything. And even though it won't be the happy ending, I think it'll still be a satisfying end for fans. So there you go, man. Those are the Seaman's five major predictions for Game of Thrones. Granted, Two of them hinge on if one or the other happens. You know, if the people survive, and maybe maybe the Night King wins, and maybe still the baby will be in play. I don't know, man. But I'm throwing out some, some crazy, outlandish, wild predictions. Because when it comes to Game of Thrones, crazy, wild, outlandish things happen. So there you go, man. Those are my five predictions for what's going to happen this season. Now I want to know what you're thinking, man. Leave your predictions for season eight down below. I know that this, this is going to get up probably right before or as the show is going on. So even if you can't do it before this episode airs and you see this afterwards, please leave all your predictions down below. Tell me what you're looking forward to, uh, what you're hoping to see in Game of Thrones. Um, it, you know, if you, you haven't watched Game of Thrones and you're watching this video, I'm sorry I just spoiled a lot of stuff for you. Um, this is really going to be targeted at the Game of Thrones audience. got to be in it to win it, man. And if you ain't here by now, What's wrong with you, man? It's one of the greatest shows of all time. So if you haven't watched Game of Thrones, um, have, I, have I enticed you in some way while spoiling so many things? Everything you're thinking of Game of Thrones, I want you to hit that down below. Uh, leave me all your comments there. Um, and just get ready, man. We're going to do reviews and reactions every single night, all the way up to the series finale live watch party with the Seaman. I'm so excited. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you want to come along and be here for all the Game of Thrones stuff we do, we're going to get into all of it, man. Hit that subscribe button and then hit that little bell so you can get alerts every time I post a new Game of Thrones or any video for that matter. So, uh, for the Seaman's Cinema Sit Down, as we sit just a half hour away from the season premiere of the final season of Game of Thrones. Uh, I am the Seaman, and I am signing off. Peace. Come on, Thrones! Well, well. 
if you aren't still here looking for something else to check out that's seaman related why don't you check out a video like this guy or this guy and if you really want to help the seaman out in year two hit that subscribe button and come join the cinema sit down squad kids you know what to do see ya